Hello all, welcome to another video. <coughs> uh, today's video is going to be about the Sniper Mechanics Wasp Piston uh, for the VSR. Uh, now, anyone that owns a Wasp Piston by Sniper Mechanics know that straight out of the box they are amazing. The only thing you have to get round is the piston chamber size. Obviously each VSR brand that you buy will be slight there'll be slight differences in the piston chamber size. Uh, when I first got mine I couldn't get it to seal whatsoever. Uh, I tried everything. Uh, so if you're having that issue trying to get your wasp piston to seal I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really easy. It's not you don't have to do much work but uh, yeah I'll show you how to do it. So I have my piston chamber out of my Action Army T10. So we'll go down onto the table, we'll take it to bits, we'll run through the piston, and then I'll show you how I got mine to seal perfectly every time. So, guys, this is the Action Army T10 cylinder unit. Uh, it has a wasp piston inside, so we'll take it apart, get some needle nose pliers to place in your holes on your piston head. All it needs is a couple of turns, and you'll be able to do it by hand. Right, there is the piston, the Sniper Mechanics Wasp. Right, at the moment I have it I have it set up with the medium weight and the long air brake. <clears throat> so what I'm going to show you to do now, how this is how I get mine to seal. Uh, take the rubber head off. Now with anything, as you know, like all your pistols and stuff within the winter, silicon and plastic will shrink. So, I've got a way around this, so <clears throat> all I'm going to do now is put this on a warm radiator for like 10 minutes just to heat up and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to mould it. Right guys, <clears throat> so I'm back, I've had the piston rubber on the radiator for about 10 minutes it is warm right next phase is put it back on now if you've seen the sniper mechanics videos uh, the installation videos he mass he massages out the rubber lip on the piston rubber <clears throat> now I, I did this to start off with uh, when I first got it but I found that if you warm the rubber up slightly that it massages out but only it stays there so just keep going round massaging the lip out when you're heating it up don't add any naked flames to it or anything because you're just going to knack your rubber up so just put it on a radiator for like 5 to 10 minutes just to heat it up then bring it back and massage the little lip out. Make sure that you do it when you pull it, massaging the lip out. Make sure you do it when it's on the piston, so the cup size doesn't move. That connects to the actual piston body. So you just want to keep massaging it. Don't be too brutal with it, just make sure. I say each piston chamber on each variety of VSR will differ. Some you won't have an issue with whatsoever, but I found with the Action Army uh, T10 that it doesn't seal properly. With my Kymer 
VSR that I had, that sealed instantly. So there's no trouble in that. So once you've been massaging it round for a bit, now what I do, let me find a little bit. You can put silicon oil on it. But what I do is I get the tiniest little bit of silicon grease. It only needs a tiny little bit and it goes on the outside of the rubber. And you only want just enough just to give the rubber a sheen. And I mean the thinnest layer because otherwise it's just gonna gum cup your inner chamber too much. So basically what I've done, I've put the grease on and basically wiped it off again. But it's just got a little sheen to it. <coughs> now what we'll do, we'll reinstall it back into the chamber. Put the chamber head back on. Make sure you don't cross thread it. This one can be a bit temperamental sometimes on my action army. There you go. Get your needle nose pliers. And tighten it up. Now obviously you know how to test the seal. Cock it, put your finger over the nozzle. Leave it for about five seconds. Perfect seal. So guys, <coughs> yeah, just heat the rubber up on your radiator. You don't need a lot of heat at all but it just gives it that extra bit of play. And as you're kneading it and it's cooling down, it's, it's going to stay there. Uh, so yeah, that's how I found how to seal the Sniper Mechanics wasp piston in a uh, cylinder, a piston cylinder that's slightly bigger. So, <coughs> hope that's helped you out guys. Uh, like I say, the Sniper Mechanics Wasp piston is amazing. It makes your sniper rifle silent. Uh, you can change out your cylinder bodies for heavy or light, depending on what size BB you're firing and what FPS you want. You can change it about with your <coughs> with your uh, piston heads and everything, and your air brakes. So yeah guys, <clears throat> like I say, I hope this has just give you a little tip. Uh, it, it's sent my Action Army T10 from a gun to an amazing gun now. So yeah, I can't fault it. Uh, so yeah guys, have a great week and I'll uh, see you in the next one.